Now, it's not unusual for racing car companies to start making road cars. Ferrari, for example, and Lotus, and more recently, McLaren. Well, now another one is having a go. The very famous... ProDrive. <laughs> It's called simply the P2, and it's amazing. The new coupe body was done by the same man who styled the McLaren F1. Don't think, however, that this is all show and no go. from a Subaru Impreza. But it has a bigger turbocharger, so now you get 345 brake horsepower. You also get a funny little noise from the wastegate when you take your foot off the accelerator. It sounds like squirrels are being pushed into the engine. That's what this is. It's a squirrel mincer. It doesn't just sound like a rally car either, because it weighs about the same as a human hair, it goes like one too! Lord to 60, 3.8 seconds. Top speed, 174! so fast is because it has something called anti-lag, which no one in the world can explain. So, the P2 then. It's good looking, quick, and with a projected price of just £40,000, good value too. And we haven't even got to the really good stuff yet. a normal Subaru Impreza actually is loads and loads and loads of grip and then uh, back into understeer. But if I turn this little knob here to three... <laughs> this turns on the car's electronic brain. Now it's a very different animal. At all. This system is even more complicated than the anti-lag, but one of ProDrive's engineers decided he'd actually have a stab at explaining it. The control of the centre differential clutch is controlled through the computer. It looks at the steering angle. You've got your sensors and you've got accelerometers and you've got steering wheel position, the slip angle of the car through the throttle. But if you then apply longitudinal force, drive torque to the rear tyres, you lose lateral grip, the torque split through the relative speeds of the front and rear diff. Does that help you? The relative speeds of the... It's probably simpler to demonstrate the system with a practical experiment. OK, I'm going round this circle of cones here now with the diff turned off, OK? I'm doing 30 miles an hour and I'm going wide, basically. Look, I'm just going wider and wider, it's just understeer. Now, let's turn the diff on, see what happens. OK, 30 miles an hour to beat. 38. 40. 45. It just kept getting faster and faster until the inevitable happened. Quite a car there. Not only can it blow your mind, but also empty your stomach.
Well, time for salt water or go for a drive in there. I didn't get that, because how did you make yourself sick when you were driving? I wasn't driving. I was sitting behind the wheel while all the technology summoned up the chunks. Yeah. It's, yeah. Honestly, the grip from this is phenomenal. It really it, it is. It's an amazing thing. Mm. And there's something else amazing about it. What? Well, there's been all that brouhaha about the you know, demise of the British motor industry. You've got Vauxhall with a thousand jobs gone, yeah. Peugeot and Jaguar closing down plants in Coventry, Rover have gone, TVR on their uppers. Yeah. Well, there you go. This could be the answer. Could be, but they're not going to make it. Why? Because they say uh, that uh, this is what a pro drive road car would be like if they could be bothered to put it into production, but they can't. But what's the point in that? That's like saying, oh, I could fly like an eagle, but I uh, can't even bother. No, it's, it's just a technological showcase. It's just saying, look how clever we are. But they're not going to make it. It's a great shame. Anyway, we're going to find out now just how fast it goes around our track. And that means handing it over, of course, to our tame racing driver. Some say that the outline of his left nipple is exactly the same shape as the Nürburgring. <laughs> and that if you give him a really important job to do, He'll skive off and play croquet. <laughs> All we know is he's called the stick. Whoops, spit of flame from the exhaust, and he's off. Oh, look at the car pitching on its suspension as the Stig slam homes another gear. Active diff is switched on here, of course. System can make any driver look like Michael Schumacher, although in Stig's case, that would make him look worse than he is. Look how neatly he's getting out the first corner there. Dove posso comprare semaforo? Where can I buy traffic lights? Whoa, he's locking up into Chicago. I guess the nose a bit wide. Then the computer shifts the torque around, drags everything back on track. Hammer ahead, this is the real handling test. Subaru would wash wide, but the P2's brain shunts drive where it's needed, gets the tail working, punches him out the other side. It's porco. It's dirty. OK, down through, follow through. Don't think he's lifted at all. Stig and computers working together. Animal machine in perfect harmony. OK, he's turning in now, second to last corner. That's very tidy. Coming up to Gambon. Kicking up dust like a rally car and across the line. Wow, hey. Hey, this is interesting, this. Now... Now, when he did it, he did a lap in that, OK, without the diff turned on. He did a 129, which is sort of way down here somewhere, OK? But then, with the diff actually activated, he did it in 1 minute 24.3. So, look, it's half a second quicker than an Evo um, 400. And the Evo has 60 more horsepower, and that's all down to the diff.